you may be seated in heavenly places. Sit and never go down. I am talking to you this morning in a topic I've captioned take over. Take over. Luke chapter 4 in verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all regions. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all. Take verse 14 again. And Jesus returned in the power of the spirit. That means he was around before. But there was no power. Shakuli that means he was around before. Yes, sir. But he could not take over. My God. The Bible says, and Jesus returned. Somebody under the sound of my voice. I receive. In this second half, you just returned. Amen. You are not returning empty, you are returning with so much power. Amen. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. Amen. You are not returning ordinary, you are returning extraordinary. Amen. In the first half of 2020, yes, sir. you were known as ordinary. Yes, sir. In this second half, get ready, you have become extraordinary. Amen. In the first half of 2020, yes, sir. you were known as an empty man. My God. In this second half, get ready, you will be seen as a loaded person. Amen. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. Amen. In the first half of 2020, My God. you were known as a beggar. My God. You were known as a packaged beggar. My God. But in 2020, second half, My God. you will be the giver people shall see. Amen. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. Amen. In the first half of 2020, My God. you were known as Mr. Trekker. My God. You trek from Jabi to Otako. My God. You trek from Otako to Wuse. My God. You trek from Wuse to Gariki. My God. You trek from Gariki to Maitama. My God. Everybody know you as Mr. Trekker. My God. But this time around, yes, sir. you are the one to be giving other people lifts. Amen. Your amen is standing on one leg. Amen. In this second half, yes, sir. the people that used to see you on a particular street, My God. they will look for you and they will not see you again. Amen. They will look for you and they will not see you again. Amen. The hand of God will lift you. Amen. The hand of God will shift you. Amen. The hand of God will establish you. Amen. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. Yes, sir. And the God of all grace, yes, sir. after he have suffered a little while, yes, sir. he said he shall establish my Lord. He shall strengthen you My Lord. and he shall settle you. My Lord. The first half of 2020 My Lord. was your time to test the waters. My Lord. This time you are about to have the heavy catches. Amen. If your amen is better, you are the one God is talking to. Amen. And Jesus returned with power. Mm. The word returned is take over. Yes, sir. He was there before. Yes, sir. That means he, he had existed. Yes, sir. But the kind of power he came with yes, sir. that brought this emphasis yes, sir. was not there before. Yes, sir. Ali Uzia There are many of you under the sound of my voice. Yes, sir. You have been missing in action. Yes, sir. Can I talk to somebody? Yes, sir. Anytime you no longer have action to offer, my God, you get missing. Mm. Oh. This one Anytime there is no longer actions to offer, yes, sir. you go missing. My God. Anytime action is finished, yes, sir. you disappear from the scene. Yes, sir. No wonder sometimes people look at you My God. and say, I saw you last last year. My God. But you have been around. My God. You didn't go anywhere. My God. But they say we know they see you again. My God. Anytime some people look at I said, we'll not see you again. My God. I say, even you two, you have been missing. I can't find you even on earth. My God. Ah, because I don't accept that. Yes, sir. Anytime they tell you, we'll not see you again. My God. It means there was something you used to do. My God. That is no longer being presented. Yes, sir. It means you have now gradually tilted. My God. To becoming a good for something. My God. From a good for something to a good for nothing. My God. No wonder we don't notice you again. My God. You don't do what you used to do. My God. You don't break through the way you used to. My God. No wonder we don't see you again. My God. Anytime action is finished. Yes, sir. People disappear. Yes, sir. Glory disappear. Yes, sir. Life 
is missing. Yes. The Bible says My Lord. when Jesus returned, yes, sir. that means there was a time yes, sir. Jesus was pulling through. Yes, sir. And he came to a point yes, sir. where action finished. Yes, sir. Hey! He came to a point yes, sir. where action finished. My Lord. Akuli Atusi Apalataya. May your action never finish. Amen. If your amen is better, you are the one God is talking to. Amen. May your action never finish. Amen. What will make you relevant before man? My God. Relevant before the world. My God. May it not finish. Amen. May your action not finish. Amen. May what you have to offer not finish. Amen. Even in that office where you walk. My God. When men shall say there is a casting down. Yes, sir. Because you have got something to offer. My God. You will say I have a lifting. Yes, sir. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Give the Lord three amen and one fire. Amen. 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 So Even though your action has finished, my God, you are about to return. Amen. In First John chapter five verse four, yes, sir. The Bible says, "For whatsoever is born of God, my God, overcome the world." Yes, sir. And this is the confidence we have, my God. This is the victory we have, yes, sir. If on our faith, yes, sir. Romans chapter eight verse nineteen, yes, sir. For the endless expectation, my God, of the creature, yes, sir. Waited for the manifestation, yes, sir. The word manifestation is appearance and taking over, my God. Waited. For the manifestation, yes, sir, of the sons of God, yes, sir, in this second half, my God, I don't care what has stopped you, my God, Ali Aprekata you are manifesting to take over, amen. That your amen is standing on one leg, amen. You are manifesting to take over, amen. You are manifesting to take over, amen. Psalm chapter 105, my God, 43 to 44, yes, sir, and he brought forth his What a way to take over. My God. In this second half of 2020, my God. my God is taking it from the hidden yes, sir. and is handing it over to you. That your amen is standing up on there. He is taking it from the hidden yes, sir. and is handing it over to you. Amen. I don't know who is presently occupying a position. My God. Ah, but if you have to take over, the person has to leave. Mm. Nigeria had to take over. My God. And Joe Bonfore devised a means. My God. And said, Daniel Omokachi the Bull. Yes, sir. Remove Ronaldo the Lama. My God. So that Nigeria can take over. My God. Anytime you want to take over mm. and you have seen the seat. My God. There is 80% likelihood. Yes, sir. That the seat is occupied. My God. Ali Anusia Kafriteshida. I am talking to people who have spiritual wisdom. My God. I am I'm not talking to people who are just looking at me. Yes, sir. And the word will come from here and go from here. Yes, sir. Every takeover. My God. Requires mm. that somebody has to be sacked. My God. The spirit of poverty. My God. Has to be sacked. My God, for the spirit of wealth to come in. Yes, sir. The spirit of disappointment, yes, sir, has to be ostracized. My God, for appointments to begin to roll in. Are you going to The person in charge of the reason why you are failing, yes, sir, has to be relinquished to the background mm. for the page of success to be open. My God. Sir. Take over, take over. Yes, sir. What are you taking over? My God. Mm. <laughs> if you answer the question, it's your own. Mm. Take over, take over. What are you taking over? Mm. Take over. It's a month of take over. They don't know nothing about My what they are God. taking over. Yet, 
small witch and wizard in the compound will oppress them. Mm. Press you in the night. Mm. I Daddy, no pick my God. That is why they won't kill me. Mm. Shut up your mouth. My God. Mm. You must know. Yes, sir. What you are taking over. Yes, sir. I am ready for my own takeover. My God. I don't know whether you are ready. My God. But I am ready. Yes, sir. That is why I'm here this morning. Yes, sir. I am ready to take over something. Yes, sir. I am ready to take over territories. Yes, sir. For Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. I am ready to take over the world. Yes, sir. For Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Was it not John Nord that said? My God. He said, Give me Scotland or I die. My God. Can I pray for somebody? Yes, sir. You must identify what to take over. Amen. And you must remove the existing principality. My God. If you need to take over. Yes, sir. Upon the premise I prophesy. I receive. This second half. Yes, sir. This second half. Yes, sir. This second half. Yes, sir. Powers that are saying no to the yes of God. My God. They are giving way for you to take over. Amen. I didn't hear your name like thunder. Amen. They are giving way for you to take over. Amen. They are giving way for you to take over. Amen. The Bible says, and he brought forth his people. Yes. Sir. That means God is about to bring somebody. Yes, sir. I don't know whom God is talking to here. I receive. God is about to introduce somebody. Yes, sir. And he brought forth his people. Yes, sir. Ah, that you shall show forth. Yes, sir. The praises of him. Yes, sir. Who have brought you out of darkness. Yes, sir. Into his marvelous light. Yes, sir. I think that's in First Peter 2 9. My God. He said, he said, well, you are a choosing generation. My God. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people. And holy nations. Just you. My God. Ah! And holy nation. That you shall show forth. My God. The praises of him. Mm. Who has brought you out of obscurity. Yes, sir. Who has brought you out of poverty. Mm. Who has brought you out of emptiness. My God. Who has brought you into marvelous light my god in this second half of 2020 yes sir you will enjoy the marvelous light of god amen you will enjoy the marvelous light of god amen you will enjoy the marvelous light of god amen give the lord three amen and one fire amen 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 fire luke chapter 15 from verse 17 to 18 the bible says and when he came to his senses he said to himself how many higher servants of my father have bread enough to spare and I die in hunger. Mm. Take over. How many higher servants of my father have enough to spare and me a son? Beat your chest say I am a son. I am a son. Ah, Even if you are a woman, just say I am a son. A son. There is a position for son. Yes sir. And there is a position for servant. Yes sir. My God. It is an error mm. for servants to take the position of sons. My God. No wonder Solomon cried out in the book of Ecclesiastes. Mm. He said, I have seen an error under the sun. My God. And this error is among princes and rulers. He said, servants are riding on horses. My God. But sons are trekking and escorting them. Mm. In other words, take over is not meant for everybody. Yes, sir. It is meant for sons. Yes, sir. It is meant for sons. Yes, sir. It is meant for you. Yes, sir. The prodigal son, the Bible called him prodigal. My God. But I see him as a takeover candidate. Mm. He carried his own portion of money, went to squander it, began to eat with pigs in the same place. My God. But the Bible says one day he came to his senses. Yes, sir. This second half. Yes, sir. Take over must start with your senses. Amen. <laughs> Offer must start with your wisdom. Amen. The wisdom of God in you. He yes. said, when he came to his brain, another translation said, when he came to his mind. Another one said, when he came to himself. Another one said, when he came to his senses. My God. That means there is a place for balancing in destiny. You must recognize that where you are now. It's not the position you ought to be. My God. There must be that awareness. He said when he came to his senses, he said how many higher servants of my father have so much to give away. My God. They give away. They have so much. They give away. 
and me, I am here suffering. My God. The next verse, he said, I will arise. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> the next verse, he said, I will arise. Yes, sir. Those of you that are ready to arise in this second half, my God, I prophesy by the finger I of you. Receive. May the Lord grant your takeover. Amen. May the Lord grant your heart desire. Amen. May the Lord give you what you are looking for. Amen. May the Lord grant your takeover. Amen. If you believe it, let your amen sound like thunder. Amen. He said, I will arise and go back to my father. Let me go and take over. I'm a son, not a servant. My God. If servants have so much to spare, mm. me, son, what an error eating with swine. A son of a rich man. Our father is the billion. He, is, he is, cannot be quantified with the money of this world. He created the world. He owns the world. Is God talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. In this second half, get ready. Something is about to happen. Amen. Quickly, I have two definitions for takeover. Number one, Takeover is the supernatural release of power for the exercise of dominion on earth. Takeover is the supernatural release of power for the exercise of dominion on earth. Matthew chapter 17 verse 5. The Bible says while he was yet speaking at the Mount of Transfiguration. Behold a bright cloud overshadowed them. And the voice spoke from the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. God had to introduce the savior of the world for his ministry to be fulfilled. God himself had to introduce the savior of the world for his ministry to be fulfilled. Can I talk to somebody this morning? Yes, sir. The supernatural had to introduce him. Take over is the supernatural release of power. So, anytime the supernatural is involved in what you are doing, Get ready for takeover. My God. Anytime the supernatural is involved in the sale of pure water, pure water will turn to a pure water factory. Anytime the supernatural is involved, my God, then get ready for an overflow. The supernatural power released for the exercise of dominion. It means dominion has been invested in humanity. God invested dominion in man but it has to be activated by the presence of the supernatural. In Genesis chapter 1 in verse 28 and God said to them, be blessed, multiply, replenish, have dominion and subdue. That means dominion was God's investment in man. But it requires the presence of the supernatural for dominion to be exercised. Which is take over. Mm. Any take over without dominion. My God. Is incomplete. Car. Because you must dominate in that place where you are working. Yes sir. In that business place you have to dominate. Yes sir. You don't have any other option. <laughs> but to dominate. Yes sir. But to rule. Yes sir. But to dominate. Yes sir. I come to you in the volume of the books. I receive. Written concerning your life. I receive. You are dominating from today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the presence of the supernatural is totally indispensable. Any time takeover is concerned. God had to confirm Jesus. Jesus was already anointed with power. If you read down that scripture, it said the son of God anointed with power to preach the good news to the poor and to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. While he was yet speaking it in the temple, opening the Bible and teaching them in the synagogue, he closed the Bible. He said, today has manifestation My God. happened before you. Mm. He said, today have you seen the manifestation before you? And this could not be possible until after the endorsement of the supernatural. Hear me. Yes, in whatever you do that has no God in it, there can never be takeover. My God. In whatever thing you do, be you a businessman, be you a career person, in anything you do, and there is no supernatural, no presence of God, you cannot beat it. Some people ask a question. Billionaires, do they know Jesus Christ? Billionaires, do they know God? What about Dangote? Who church does he go to? Let me tell you, there is something that is working for Dangote. Yes, sir. Ah, capture it on video. There is something working for him. Yes, sir. Anybody you see has something working for him. 
If you are in God's house, then God should work for you. Yes, sir. Some of them belong to some kind of occultic confrontality that when you hear the kind of human blood they spend, you will run away. Just some days ago, a, 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 a septic tank was discovered where dead bodies were thrown in. In Obibo, in, 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 uh, uh, in uh, 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 River State, Port Harcourt. A man, a businessman, when, you, when he buys goods from you, he sells shoes, you come to take the money, you say, come to my house, so-so place. When you come, they will kill you and put you inside soccer way. Over 40 dead bodies were discovered in that soccer way. But the day his Waterloo came, the wife of the man he killed last, as the man was going to take the money, he told his wife, he said, baby, please, this is the address of where I am going. This is the number of the man. This is his name. He has been owing me this 500,000. But I don't know why he is insisting that I should come to this address to take it. And the wife said, okay, no problem. The man went and got to that house. The same way others were annihilated. That was how his neck, he was strangled and put in the sock away. 24 hours came and gone. The wife didn't see him. 48 hours came and gone. The wife had to run to the police and reported the matter. When the police wanted to do like this, she went to IRT, the IG of police, uh, you know, uh, response team. And they entered into the matter, came and discovered cops. Now, what is the real deal? The man said, as long as those cops are piling and getting rotten, that that is how his wealth expands. Your neighbor, where they your shop, my your God. side. No, they look am like that, oh. You know they go to church, you get what they say for them. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know they go to church. Eh? Are they praying all night? Are they going for all night? If you hear their kind of all night, you can't even dare it. My God. Their kind of all night. When they fly and drink blood, you can't even dare it. Eh? 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 Yeah, eh? Must I come to church on Sunday for God to bless me? Don't come. Stay in your house. Uh. Stay in your house. Wash clothes on Sunday morning. Iron them. I watch us. I go my. Let's see how far. Mm. The presence of the supernatural is the endorsement of every genuine takeover. My God. Mm. There are multi billionaires who have made money and yet they can never stop talking about Jesus Christ. Mm. Number one of these men I read about is Pat Robertson. He's a successful billionaire, an American businessman. He said his greatest secret on earth is that every day he spends time with the Lord. He's the founder of CBN Television. He said every day he spends time with the Lord. He cancels appointments with presidents just to spend time with the Lord. You, what time do you have? You have not even looked into your Bible in the past one month. Except when you come to church. You have never put your knee on the ground. To seek the face of God in the morning. Your idol is your phone. As early as possible, you're already perusing your phone. Without even saying, Jesus, good morning. He said the greatest secret of his life is that he spends time with God every day. Another multi-billionaire in America, David Green, he's the chief executive officer and founder of Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is one of the greatest business you know, outlet in, the, in America. You have them in New York. You have them in everywhere in all the major cities. David Green said that the principal goal of his business is to run his business in accordance with the laws of God. multi billionaire established. He doesn't need anything from life again. What the, he can never have a problem. He has private jets littered. Even Airbus that carry goods. David Green. He said that his principal goal in his business, is to run his business in accordance with the laws of God. How many of us still remember God in what we are doing? Sunday is one of the biggest shopping days in America, but his outlets are never opened on Sundays. No matter what happened, his outlets are never opened on Sunday. He runs his business in the law of God. Somebody tells you that the best way to attract customers is to carry secretaries with big bomb bomb. And that is the approach we have adopted. Hear me. Strategy, there is a place for strategy. But strategy without divine, without divine energy will lead you to tragedy. Oh, come on. Come on. You don't get it. It 
It's only female secretary. No, no, no. When they shake the bomb for the man, the man will come. You are now changing the original vision of the business to prostitution. That is why some banks are going down, others are rising. That is why some firms are going down, others are rising. A man of God once told me sometime. He said, man of God, carry your shots. We get big, big bomb bomb. When they come, shake and for member. I said, that means you are running a perverted church. If people who come to church come to work bomb bomb, pursue the bomb bomb, sleep with the bomb bomb, where, what are you preaching? Close the church. Turn it to a beer parlor. Oh, you don't get it. You don't, if bomb bomb is what we are talking about, close the church and turn it to a beer parlor. Eh, eh, the secretary, at least make it, make it, at least make it just get small chest. I say, what is chest? What is chest? He said, ah, Dr. K, go sit down now. This I said, you have turned the church to a perverted church. Even you, the pastor, where they select them, your hand no clean. Oh. My God. Mm. Your hand no clean. Even you, where they do the selection. Because when you select, 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 go test. Mm. When you select, 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 you go test. At that point in time, where is the church? The church of Jesus Christ is doomed and gone down. Hear me! If the approach of the supernatural is not there, then there is no takeover. The best secret of this takeover would be that rubbish is eliminated. We have one Nigerian major multi billionaire who is a preacher on the street. He's the chief executive officer called Charis Group. Accomplished businessman and a multi-billionaire. He has a unique story of grace to grass. Of grass to grace. The man was born in a poor family. His father died at the age of six years old. And he began to sell akara. He began to hawk akara and pap on the street. Today he's a multi-billionaire. He is the sole importer of Range Rover sport vehicles. He's the sole distributor of BMW. Any BMW you see in Nigeria must come from Koscharis. That is the man I'm talking about. Married with a wife. But he says, a day without talking about Jesus Christ is a failed day. No matter the... Do you know how they make their money? How many of us remember Koja? Koja. When they did Koja. When all the whole the, uh, Commonwealth of Nigeria something something games. When, the, before, when they built Game Village. Where Koja lodged. All the BMW 5 series, 3 series and 7 series. Was supplied single handedly. By Koscharis group. Business that ran into millions of. Hundreds of millions of dollars. One man. And he has not stopped supplying. No. Money is pumping in like water. He preaches on the street with megaphone. He's 63 years old. 63. He still shouts on the street with megaphone. Without police escort. People, a, a, a people interpret for him. When he comes to a Yoruba community, as he's preaching, they are interpreting for him. Money. He is on money. Yet, he has recognized the place of the supernatural. He said, a day which, without Jesus is a failed day. Which car do you have? Even not, you don't have. He's a distributor of Range Rover. One of those Range Rovers in 20 something million. You don't have anything yet, you can't pray. You don't have anything yet, you can't read your Bible. You can't pursue God. As I'm even preaching, you are angry. Why did you come to church? You don't have anything yet, you can never be humble. Come on, work for God as a protocol. You are keeping your shoulder like this. Very soon, you have an ankle injury. Very soon, that your shoulder blade will shift and you start walking like this. You see those your legs you can't stand for God with? Eh? Very soon, you... Where will be? This is it. Your own is just to come and stand and just do it and do this thing. Boil they grow for people nyasho. Boil, heavy boil. It go grow. You know go you now have a reason not to come to church for three weeks. We are nowhere yet. Yet we can't follow God. We don't have anything. Yet there is no passion. No drive. The supernatural is the sponsor.
of every genuine takeover. Take it or leave it. Remove the supernatural. Everything is dead. Real exercise of dominion. Real exercise of dominion in any walk of life cannot be separated from the supernatural. Real exercise of dominion. You want to exercise dominion on earth? Come on! Get into the realms of the supernatural. Is God talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Is God taking, talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. True takeover is instituted by God. No matter what you do, no matter where you find yourself, true takeover is instituted by the Father. Is instituted by God. The, my second definition of takeover is that takeover is the realization and the demonstration of dominion. You realize it and you demonstrate it. Realization and demonstration of dominion to fulfill God's giving purpose on earth. I have already read to you Luke chapter 15, 17 to 18. And when he came to his senses, he said, how many servants of my father have enough to give out and I don't even have one to eat. Somebody help me tell your neighbor, say, stop the rubbish. Stop the rubbish. If you can't stop the rubbish, there can never be takeover. Stop the rubbish. Steps to take over. Number one, I may just share this number one another day. Steps to take over. Number one, God. Strategy without divinity equal to tra tragedy. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 26. The Bible says the king of Moab took 700 men that drew sword. That means he had all the strategy. He took 700 men that drew sword. These are fighters. There was a war. He took 700 men that drew sword. Yet he could not prevail. The Bible says the war became so sore. He took 700 men. A lot of us are bragging with the men around us. Uh, what is that? I have, I have, is, is, is Senator Andy Oba not my brother? Do you know that there are cousins to that senators that are suffering? Is, uh, I, I have General Buhamad Buhari now. Hear me. Any big man you see have relations that are suffering now. Oh, mm. oh, is it that put that his confidence in the arm of flesh? My God. Where your confidence is outside God will fail. Mm. If it is not in consonance with God, if there is no God there, it will definitely fail. It will definitely fail. The man took 700 men that drew sword and could not conquer Israel. He took 700 professionals. He took people who are good with the sword. People who, when the sword enter their hand, they do many things. Yet, he could not prevail. He couldn't prevail. What are the things that you have around you that is making you brag? Is he a master's degree? Is he a doctorate degree? Is he a, is, are you a, a professor emeritus? Hear me. Every degree, every degree that has no support of God will fail you. Is God talking to anybody here? Yes, sir. Every degree that has no mama, how do you put that in about degree? Degree again. You gather degrees, but there is no God in it. It will become decrease. <laughs> it will become decrease. So you can gather degrees and still decrease without God. Anything that is your source of confidence outside God, My God. It should not be. They speak English very well. We have seen English speakers. Mm. Are you handsome? You have seen handsome people. You want to open a, 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 a company and you are looking for young boys who have cuffed their jars, wear pencil trousers, and then pack their private area so that it will attract two men. The company is about to fold because it will enter into pure perversion. Steps to take over number two. Deal with the rubbish. Help me draw your neighbor's ear and say, deal with the rubbish. Deal with the rubbish. Okay, no draw, no draw. COVID day. COVID day. Stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense. Overthrow the enemy. If you are the enemy to yourself, overthrow the enemy. Is God talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. When things are not done right, it attacks confidence and boldness and introduces fear. Anytime things are not done right, where things are supposed to be right. Anytime things are not done right. Anytime nonsense and rubbish are inhabited. It means things are not done right. That means it will introduce fear and uncertainty. Luke chapter 19 verse 8. 
Zacchaeus said something before Jesus Christ. He said, half of my goods I give to the poor. And is there any I have collected from by false accusation? He said, I restore fourfold. What was he trying to do? He was trying to make things plain. He was trying to put things straight. Stop the nonsense. You are running a business and you and your secretary are dating. Stop the nonsense. You are dating your guy in the office. Stop the nonsense. Let me talk, look at your neighbor say, stop this rubbish. Stop this rubbish. If you want it to grow, let the nonsense be dealt with. Be on your feet wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus. Shakuli kataraga badazia. Lepra katala bashele kute. Rehute sana tirea. Lepra katala bashele kute. Lakuli kapana tazaya. Ikute lebra handa kute lebra hinda bahala. Stop the nonsense. Lepra kotolo bahala bashele kute. Lepra katala bashala kute lebra. You are glorious. Yes, Lord. So glorious in your way. You are glorious. You are glorious. So glorious in your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, if that same spirit My God. that raised Jesus from the dead mm. is in you, My God. he said it will quicken your mortal body. Oh. And I talk to somebody. Yes, sir. You will pray one prayer and say, Father, Father. in this second half of 2020, in this second half of 2020, I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh grace. I receive fresh grace. To run the race. To run the race. I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh grace. I receive fresh grace. To run the race. To run the race. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, my Father, Satan in this Satan second Satan. half of the year 2020. Lord, I receive fresh oil. I receive fresh oil. Run this fresh oil. Hey, Saba, reggae, the Lord is here. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. On Thursday, I told you that this is the second half. My God. And in every match, there are two halves. Oh, yes. There is the first half. And there is the second half. Yes, sir. The first half has come and gone in 2020. My God. The first half of 2020 is from January to June. Oh. And the second half is from July to December. My God. So in each half, things are expected to happen. Mm. I don't know what God is talking to him. Yes, sir. In each of the half, what determines the half are things that happen. Mm. In this second half, your life shall be filled with pleasant surprises. Oh, no. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. If your amen is better, you are the one God is talking to. Your life shall be filled with pleasant surprises. Your life shall be full of pleasant surprises. Your life shall be characterized by promotion. Your life shall be distinguished. So in each half, what happens determines what the half is. It is either you win or you lose. Yes, sir. But my prayer for you this morning my God. is that you will win in this second half. Let me know. That your amen is standing on one leg. You will win in this second half. Let me know. This second half will deliver to you victory. Let me know. Every prophetic word that has been released over your life. My God. From the beginning of the year till June. My God. In this second half. My God. Get ready for unusual manifestation. Let me know. Get ready for unusual manifestation. Oh, no. 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 So in each half things happen. My God. The first half of 2020 Ooh. came with a lot of things in the whole world. My God. We had things like something like COVID-19. We had people, you know, talking with a different slang. Hey. We now have social distancing. My God. We now have Mask. Ooh. We now have many things said. My God. It all happened in the first half. Hey. This first half has removed some people from their seats yes. and replaced them with other people. My God. This first half, some people also were promoted. Ooh. They were removed from where they used to be. Yes. And they are positioned at where they need to be. Yes. A lot of things have happened. My God. Mr. A saw something. Hey. Mr. B saw something. Ooh. Mr. C saw something. My God. Everyone under the sound of my voice has a story.
story to tell yes, concerning the first half of 2020 my God. some of your stories are unpleasant hey. some of your stories are very pleasant mm. some of your stories are testimonials why some are full of complaints yes, some stories are not good to hear hey. why some are desired to hear my God. but can I tell you something yes, sir. no matter what has happened in the first half my God. it will not determine what God is about to do in your second half hey. And if you are not shouting amen this morning, that means you are killing the fuel. No matter what has taken place in the first half, it will not determine what will happen in the second half. Because the second half is a half of its own. And the second half is when the match is determined. It doesn't matter whether the devil has given you 5-0 in the first half. The second half you can equalize and win. As a second half, you can equalize and still win. Yes. I told you about the match Nigeria had with Brazil oh at Atlanta 96. Ooh. That story is a very interesting story. Oh In that match, Nigeria started well. Oh. But before you knew it, Brazil took over. Oh before the end of first half, Ooh. it was three goals to one. Oh Nigeria won. Oh. Brazil three. Oh and the match continue before you knew it first half came my God. and everybody went to rest yes. but when they came into the second half somebody said the game changed the game changed I like to see Kapada. somebody said the game changed the game changed can I prophesy to someone yes. the game is about to change for you oh, yeah. this young amen is not good enough oh, yeah. I said the game is about to change for you oh, yeah. the game is about to change your business. The game is about to change in your career. The game is about to change in your marriage. The game is about to change in your life. If you believe it, let your amen sound like thunder. In the second half, after 10 minutes, we saw our coach, Joe Bonfore, went to Daniel Amokachi. I don't know what he whispered to him, but that was the determinant of the game. In there is one guy called Ronaldo Dilama. Mm. He was threatening Nigeria. Oh, he was the one that made way for the two goals. And Nigeria was depressed. Oh. Nigeria was demoralized. Coming after that whisper, Ayeko Tesagabarata. Mm. I don't know how Daniel Momokachi did it. He removed Ronaldo Dilama. And Ronaldo was taken out of the match. Oh. And I talked to somebody this morning. Yes, In this second half, oh. God will give you the secret of your enemies. Oh. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. Oh, no. That secret they use in tormenting you. Oh, no. The secret they use in stealing from you. Oh, no. The secret they use in dispelling you. Oh, no. That secret that has made you inconsequential. Oh, no. You hustle every day, oh, no. but nothing to show. Oh, my God. You are so much on motion, oh, no. but there is no movement. Oh, my God. You burn diesel, oh, no. but you go nowhere. Oh, no. I decree by the finger of Jehovah. Oh, no. The enemy. The secret the enemy is using to suffocate you. Today it is exposed and aborted. If your amen is better, you are the one God is talking to. Your secrets are exposed and aborted. Your secrets are exposed and aborted. It was when Ronaldo left the scene. My God. Shagara. Victor Pepper scored for Nigeria. And it was 3-2. And the game continued. Until the last minute of the game. Let me look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Ah, you are concluding me too early. You are concluding me too early. Let me look at another neighbor. Say neighbor. You are concluding me too early. You are concluding me too early. Anybody that has concluded you too early, you are about to surprise them. I didn't hear your amen like thunder. You are about to surprise them. You are about to surprise them. They have concluded you too early. The Bible says they were carrying Elisha to go and bury him. And they don't they, they, they had already buried Elisha. But a man was carried to go and be buried. And something is through you. People began to run helter skelter. The dead body of the man from the corpse dropped on Elijah's grave. And the man that was declared dead woke up. Can I talk to somebody? Yes, Anyone that has concluded you, they concluded you too early. In this 
the second half you will surprise the world oh, wow. I didn't hear your amen like thunder oh, you will surprise your family oh, wow. you will surprise your brothers oh, wow. you will surprise your friends oh, wow. you will surprise your sister oh, wow. you will surprise your colleagues oh, wow. you will surprise Shekinah oh, wow. give the Lord three amen and one fire oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. In this second half, in this, I shall experience my colorful destiny. I shall experience my colorful destiny. I shall experience my colorful future. I shall experience my colorful future. In this second half, in this second half, I shall experience my colorful destiny. I shall experience my colorful destiny. I shall experience my colorful future. I shall experience my colorful future. If you believe it, shout fire three times. Fire! Fire! Just four minutes 
into this extra time. Kanu pulled again. Defenders went like this. And he struck the ball. You are about to play. And then people will not know how you play this. Lord, I am taking over I in this second back. half. And Lord, I am taking, I am over. taking over in this second half. It is my turn to take over. I am bouncing back over. Are you ready for takeover? My God. The Lord announced to me, he said, declare the month of July 2020. Mm. Our month of takeover. Oh, come on, your amen is not coming. Hey, no! Everything you get from my declaration is as a result of positioned mentality. Oh, yes. I am good to I hear you, sir. Everything you get from my declaration my God. is as a result of your positioned mentality. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. I don't have to lay hand on you. Oh, yes. I don't even have to tell you anything. I hear you, sir. But as long as you are in this atmosphere, oh. anything can happen. Hey. It only depends on your mentality. Shabbat Aragabada. Mm. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Woo. This second half, you are coming out better. Woo. I didn't hear your email like thunder. Woo. You are coming out victorious. Woo. You are coming out a winner. Woo. You are coming out a conqueror. Woo. You are coming out a distinguished personality. Woo. Give the Lord three amen and one fire. Woo. True, sir. They don't have a sustenance that lasts for a while. It's true, sir. They go up today. Tomorrow they come down. True, they try to stand. Tomorrow they come down. Even as I'm talking to you now, I see a degree. Not just a degree. I see a master's degree. Not just a master's degree. I see a PhD. Oh my God. It's true, sir. It's true, sir. But the Lord is showing me an atmospheric place. Yes, sir. Where enemies are gathered. Yes, sir. And they are saying, No man can stand in this family. Mm. Ah, yeah. But after today, Jesus. you are taking over for good. Amen. Oh, come on. If you are shouting amen for him, God is about to give you something. Amen. The Lord told me, said, After today, you are taking over. Amen. In the entire family. That I have documentary evidence. It's true, sir. But it's not bringing results. Seriously. My God. When I mean documentary evidence, evidence that has to do with degrees. Degree one, degree two, Aye. degree three. 
loaded with qualification. PhD holder. You are pursuing a PhD now. It's true, sir. Go, go on. Power from above. Professor. Yeah. There is power from above. Authority from above. Somebody help me. There is power from above. Do something. Do something. I believe. I believe. I receive. I receive. The power from above. Take it down. They said you cannot carry evidence. It's true, sir. But today I am passing a decree. My God. Your life shall be full of evidence from today. Amen. If church can shout amen for him, then it will also happen for you. Amen. Because I see you in this classroom. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. But I saw you exit the classroom. And you want to enter another place. God is providing and preparing a bigger table. Amen. The kind of job you will do, nobody has ever done it in your father's kingdom. Jesus, amen. Because it's going to be massive. My amen. God. Now it's it is with chalk. My God. And the chalk does not commensurate with what you have. It's true, sir. Oh. Mm. Because if with this chalk, you are even looking for something like a higher institution. I am seeing where the higher institution has come. But I am seeing another level. Where they will say, we never knew. We thought this Stephen is a waste. Ah. But we never knew he can come out. Amen. That is Stephen the Lord just spoke to me about. Oh my God. That is Stephen. Amen. That is Stephen. Amen. Receive the crown in today. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the crown in today. Amen. Amen. Something happened in your life. Was it August last year? Was it August or September? About that, about eh? that time. About August. That, yes, August. Between August. Yes. Eh? Okay, June. 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 Like August, yes. You buried a child. It's true, sir. Because they said you can't have evidence. It's true, sir. They say your life can never carry evidence. It's true, sir. But I came as an evidential prophet. Yeah, yeah, sir. My God. Jeremiah 32 oh. 14. He said, take it this evidence. Mm. You carried evidence of a male child. They were angry. Who we'll give them something where you take born? Hmm. We didn't say the thing, no, they walk. I saw where they fired the child arrow and the child died. Ah. My God. But God said, I am sending another son. Amen. Only why is it one Because we are the living God. Yes, no one you dream and see baby girl. Yes, sir. But this is a baby boy. Yes. My God. Amen. Go, go, one. Go, 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 Come, let me help you. Come, let God help you. You, 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 I'm talking to you. You are looking at your colleague. See your friend. Okay, you just met him here. Okay, he didn't invite you. Hear me and hear me well. I am seeing something like a clay pot. And in this clay pot are six eggs. And I see the assignment of a particular woman that is 67 years old. Her assignment by the reason of the instruction a native doctor gave is to urinate inside these eggs. He said all of them will smell and none of them will amount to anything. As I'm praying for you now, that bowl of egg can hear me. My God. Wherever they are using something to represent you. My God, my God. By the finger of Jehovah. You see. That egg be scattered. Amen. They said none of your mother's children will become anything. And that is what is happening to you even in the city of Abuja. You gather today, tomorrow it scatters. You don't understand where you are. Money enters your hands sometimes. But how you use it, you cannot tell. Exactly, sir. You cannot tell how the money comes and goes. It's not as if you don't see money. You see small, small things. But when it comes, you cannot account for it. Exactly, sir. It is where they are urinating on the eggs. I am seeing a thatch house that in your heart you want to pull down this thatch house and build an edifice. I don't know you before. 
I've never seen your face. But I am seeing this edifice. It is you that will build it. Oh, I saw where you were planning to begin to mold block and do things. But anytime you think about it, money scatters. The moment a promise is made to you and you say, I am going to go and do this thing my father could not do. The next thing, everything scatters. True, sir. As I'm talking to you, I see where you are by a destiny helper. And this destiny helper help other people, but he can he keep giving you promises. My God. I see a man you are working with. Mm. Who is that? My wife. Your wife. He keep giving you promises. Child. But I see a man that would have helped you since. You are working with this man. I don't know what you are doing for him. Because I see you cleaning things for him. I see you wash, washing. I see you preparing things for him. Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You are working under somebody. Yes, sir. Who is the person? It's my boss. Your boss. You do everything doable for him. He keeps giving you promises. He helps others, but he has not helped you. Today, mm. if my I God. be a servant of yes, God, yes, you are. You will see what God will do. Amen. Lie down on the altar and wait for me. Well, where do I I I Take it down. Let me dismiss 10 30. Put your two hands on your head. Say, I recover all. Say, I recover all. I recover have all. Have you traveled abroad before? Yes. You have moved from one place to the other. Yes. Because this is some countries in Africa. Yeah. And then this is also Europe. Yes. Where is that? I've been to Holland. You have been uh, to Holland. You have South. been from place to place. From Dubai, yeah. You just came back March, from Dubai. Yeah. But this, your coming back, has no evidence attached At to all. it. Even my family. Even your family does not know you are back. Because in the realm of the spirit, I see you hiding so that nobody will see you and know that you are back. Kukuan. But if I be a servant of God, yes, you, are. you will go back again. Hey! Even why I'm saying he will go back Inu. again, his heart is keeping. His heart is keeping as if the thing cannot happen. Because he's already tired. Do you know what it means to go into the Netherlands? Where boys are making money like Chris. Do you know what it is to navigate from there? Go to Dubai. Go from one place to the other. And yet came back with Ghana must go. I saw where a woman stood naked. And said. He mentioned your name. And said. No matter where you go to. You will come back with empty hands. My God. But if I be a servant of God. Yes, you are about to bounce back again. Amen. Follow me. Lift your hands wherever you are. Take it. Take Lift it. your hands wherever Take you it. are. Take it. Lift your hands wherever you Take are. Take it. I prophesy by the finger of God. I receive. These hands will carry evidence in this second half. Amen. If your amen is better, you are the one God is talking to. Amen. These hands will carry evidence in this second half. Amen. This second half shall be full of evidence. Amen. It 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 shall be full of evidence. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I've seen you. I've seen many men of God, and all of them are saying the same thing. But one thing you will know, eh? Exactly. You have seen many men of God. Yes. They even you on you Thursday back. that I came here, you were here on Thursday. Yeah. You were here on Thursday. You brought me and you talked to me. A word I came for you. Thinking the same thing that I was thinking is who told you something, but today. <laughs> I, I, go, go. Isu, 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 wave your hand so that church will see that you are Isu. <laughs> he said even on Thursday he came. He thought Isu told him something. <laughs> Chai. A lot of men of God have prophesied. People have prophesied. They are all saying the same thing. My God. But one thing is asking is, when shall it become? Today, I will give you your date. Yeah. Amen. You are not the, your, your amen is looking like amen. 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 your amen is not strong enough. Amen. Your amen, if it is better, something will happen for you. Amen. Something will happen for your family. Amen. Something will happen for you. Amen. Something will happen for you. Amen. Give the Lord three amen and one fire. Amen. 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 Fire. There is something that usually happens in your life every year. This thing that happens is not ordinary. You see it as ordinary. But it's not ordinary. There is a part.
particular evil wind that is released from your father's house that any time they hear from any of your channels when I mean channel, when you discuss with brother, cousin or somebody and say very soon I'm coming to start this thing they will release the wind to come and scatter what you have gathered this thing happens every year once it's either it happens half of the year or it happens towards the end of the year True. around them back period yes. go, go. can I pray for everybody here yes sir can I pray for everybody here yes, yes sir the power that is against your accomplishment my god today that power expires yes sir today that power expires yes sir today that power expires yes today that power expires yes sir amen in the mighty name of Jesus amen, amen. The last one that happened, you were already planning to rent a shop of your own. Eh? And the thing came and scattered the money. Even cover, you could not realize. Even till now, you are still paying some of the debts. But the Lord said, I should tell you, not this year again. Amen. Somebody shout, enough is enough. Enough is enough. When you take over, my God, your enemies take over. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Come on, you didn't get that. I hear you. When you take over, my God, your enemies take over. Oh yes. Ah, because a man who is in charge will issue orders. Oh yes. Can I pray for somebody? I receive. As you pray this morning, you are issuing orders. Amen. As you speak now, you are issuing orders. Amen. If you can speak in tongues now, you are issuing some new orders. If you can speak in tongues now, you are issuing some new orders. If you can speak in tongues now, you are issuing some new orders. Something is happening Amen. Oga, did your wife die or did she leave you? Pastor, I have to run for my dear life. You have to run for your dear life? Yes, sir. She left you. Eh? She left or me, you, but he, you he leave. Stopped, he, he want me dead. So she wanted to. you dead. Yes. You know, say we, we can't judge from the mouth of one person. If your wife talk her own now, it will be like saying a basket of fly. Eh? Yes, yes, Woman sir. and man matter. We know they put mouth openly. But the Lord told me that a glory left you. Glory. Glory. Something good. That thing you thought was supposed to kill you is the crown of your head. Shamanu hiya. My God. You know, devil is very tricky. Yeah. And one of the fastest ways you enter into family is to make wife believe that husband want to kill her. Oh, yes. Or husband believe that wife want to kill her. My God. Fastest way. My and God. the moment that is downloaded and you interpret it to your senses, it will begin to direct your behavioral disposition. Mm. It will begin to pattern the way you behave towards the woman and also towards the man. That's right. <laughs> My God. So this matter, you see, I'm going to enter into it. If you have to say I am sorry for your life to be back, say it. Because since that thing happened till today, even to feed is a problem. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. In the hollow, hey, do something, Papa. Office lamps in the hollow. Office lamps. I am changing whatever may tie me in the hollow. your matter strongly because everything is scattered it's as if you are moving from one place now to the other trying to begin life afresh eh? where were yes. you before i have a house just here, large. you have house in Dusia large but i'm staying in Guarogo, yeah. but you are staying in Anguarogo. Yes, sir. what's the problem you can't stay in the house Pastor, there is a lot of a lot of issues a lot of evil because things. i see you moving i see you running helter skelter no my peace. god the thing is moving you from here to the other side do something Papa. but god will give you stability now amen even to sell the house you wanted to sell it no way eh? you tried to sell it 
but something happened in the house. Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. And then the thing just scattered again. My God. In Niger. Over the, house. the woman has taken over the house. Rent. Collecting rent. Cry not. No be the woman, now your wife. No be any that woman. Two of Nagosti enjoy. I got the laugh, they laugh, they shake head. Eh? No cry. Calm down. How many children are born for you? Eh? First issue, I get twins. But the boy is late. Okay, the boy died. But at the end of this issue, now I said the child is not mine. So I just, I just like. When woman want frustrate man, he go tell him anything. Never know woman. He go tell you anything. You go even one just say, okay. Oh, now so it be. Lift your hands wherever you are. My God. Wave it to the King of Kings. Hear me, sir. I want you one about okay. Your junior brother Muram, I heard his voice from the grave. I heard his voice from the grave telling me, no, no, no. He said, tell my brother that people that kill me want to come and kill him. Eh? Because I'm not you seriously. Came home. Uh, 2002. The same people on Naburi and Achukwagi, they are pursuing you seriously. Even in Rahora, you can't sleep. Yes. Eh? Yes. There are issues all over your life. Sometimes, what did you King of glory as the oil drops yokes broken burdens lifted from their shoulder and today by reason of this anointing I decree and declare you are free Amen you are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. Free to take over. 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 Amen. Kneel there. Free to take over. Amen. Free to take over. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I release grace, power, authority, dominion. Yes, Lord. Go and overtake. Go and take over. In Jesus' mighty name. You are here, you want to say, Jesus, have mercy on me. Because there is no takeover without Jesus. Every takeover is hinged on the supernatural. You want to say, Lord, I am sorry. I come this morning before you. Just as I am without one plea. But your blood has washed away my sins. Your blood has given me new life. You want to pray that prayer? Take a bold step from where you are. Meet me in the front. Jesus. Everything I give to you with all in nothing. With all in nothing. Lord, behold your people. They are kneeling before you. Asking you to take over their life for them to take over their destiny. Behold, oh God, let your mercy prevail. Say this prayer after me. Say, Father, I receive mercy from the throne room. And I make a U-turn today from the past that has besected my takeover. And I take charge. I take over today decision I'm making now to return back to Jesus. Let the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel that was shedded on the cross of Calvary speak for me. Thank you Father for your mercy in Jesus name. Amen. Heavenly Father where the mouth confessions are made and where the heart salvation is received King of glory Look into this case file. Blot out everything that does not give you glory. Wash these ones and make them anew. Receive them back into your kingdom. And give them the grace to take over. In Jesus most victorious name we have prayed. It is well with you. Congratulations.